Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bell. And this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. So, what do we have on the agenda today, Bobby K? Pale Ales. Whoa, oh. oh, there's yeah, our mascot, mascot, Taylor. Yeah. Hi, Taylor. Come here, girl. Hello, yeah. hello. We're liking those ales, huh? Yes. We've got English Pales and American Pales, which are have kind of taken over. Yeah, you'll learn about that in the history segment. Uh, let's take a look at the beers we have. All right. All right, up first, we have Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. It's a stock one. Buy that pretty much anywhere you go. Kind of started the whole thing over here for American Pale. In fact, it did. Up next, Windmer Breweries, the original Drifter Pale Ale. So there you have it. Windmer, they make that one half that some people like, and I don't. All right. All right. Third on the agenda, we have Marin Brewing Company. This is the Mount Tam Pale Ale. Won a bunch of awards. Yeah. Have I tried it? Yeah. Up in Northern California, because I don't know what Larkspur is, so it's not near here. Yeah, Northern California. Thank you, studio audience. Uh, five and a half percent, which is, you know, right about in the middle. Yeah. Next, we have Oscar Blues Brewery, the Dale's Pale Ale. Pretty excited about this one because Oscar Blues also makes 1050. That's a, a really dark imperial style. That's how you say it, 1050. 10 you really do. Um, it's F I D Y fitty. That's yeah. I mean, you say it, it just doesn't. It doesn't sound work. Right. Anyway, it's awesome. Um, it all comes in cans, so as you learned last week, cans are, are good. Prevents light from getting in, keeps it nice. Um, good for so the environment. Easily recyclable. All that. Looking forward to this one for sure. Then we have Lagunitas Pale Ale, the new Dogtown. So pretty excited about this one. This one tends to be pretty malty for me. Yeah, less hoppy than most Lagunitas, which tend to be just fistfuls of hops. Yeah. So. Looking forward to this one as well. All right, we got the Deschutes Twilight. We've done the Mirror Pond on our Epic Ales, and the Twilight's their summer pale. Much more light on the palate. Not as much up front hops, but we're going to get to all that. Alpine Brewery from Alpine, California. Up north, too, I'm guessing. Alpine Ale. Yeah. All right, then we have Ale Smith back down to San Diego. Ale Smith X. Really like Yale Smith. Their Speedway Stout is one of my favorite stouts on the planet. Hard to find. So this one's X X for extra. Extra pale. Extra what does that pale. Mean? Extra. That means it's it's paler than usual. So. Okay. Kind of like me in the winter time. Yes. Or me most. Of the time. Oh yes, and the Flying Dog Doggy Style Pale Ale. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure you don't give this to your father-in-law because he might take it the wrong way. Yeah. But it should be good. That would be our okay. final one. All right, so let's take a look at our history segment, learn a little about pale ales, how they came to be. Hello, Weldon here, and I'm back from my Baltic cruise. Happy to be with the beer cast. Pale ale is a beer which uses a top fermenting yeast and predominantly pale malts. Like many beer styles, pale ale resulted from an innovation in brewing technology. The brewers in Burton-on-Trent in England were looking for a way to produce a more consistent and paler beer. The kilns of the day used wood, which was difficult to control and often resulted in dark roasted or even scorched barley. They found that coke, a processed form of coal that burns hot and steady, gave them the desired effect, a clear amber or copper colored ale. It was far paler than any British ales brewed to date. English pale ales are generally balanced and dry with a snappy, hoppy bitterness. American pale ales are based on the British pale ale tradition. APAs are gold to amber in color and generally their flavor and aroma comes from the citrusy and pine character of American hops, along with caramel and malt-like flavors. The American variant arguably began with Sierra Nevada. American pale ales tend to be hoppier than their British counterpart. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the history segment. And uh, we're starting off with Sierra Nevada. The pale ale that started it off. You see okay. what we did with that? Look at the color and the fizz on that. Beautiful color. Tons of carbonation, a little wow. super clear, teeny tiny bubbles. You smell a little of those hops right in the nose. It smells sweet, citrusy. Mm. Which is how Americans tend to be, right? Sweet and citrusy? What does that even mean? Exactly what this tastes like. Tastes like an American? Yeah. 
Less hoppy than I remember. Less Sorry. hoppy than I remember as well. It's good. It's mellow. Yeah, it's like got the definitely, definitely balanced with the malts. Yes. Wait. Like, yeah. It's got that sweet finish. I'm surprised I've been having so many IPAs that compared to this. This is having a really sweet finish, a lot more malt than I'm used to tasting. And I like the malt. It doesn't taste like a chocolate malt. No chocolate at all, but not much malt at all, typically. But with this, I get it. Wow, okay. I'm more impressed than I thought I was going to be. Yeah. This is, this is delicious. Well balanced. Oh, here's the Drifter. Windburn. A little more caramel in the color. In this one, huh? Yeah, much cloudier. Doesn't smell as much. Not nearly a nose. Yeah. Sour? Sour and creamy. Yeah. Creamy bad. Not creamy Boddington's creamy. Yeah, I'm not digging this at all. Creamy like fancy cheese that you don't like. Creamy. It that makes has you wanna, a strange taste. It makes you want to do that beer face. You imagine yeah, like the old guy from the greeting cards is uh, Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I know a lot of people like it, so not to offend anybody, but next to the Sierra, Sierra Nevada. Oh no, 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 no. This is the last time I'm having a drifter in my house. The Mount Tam came highly recommended from the folks at Lone Hill Liquor and if you're in Glendora, shout out to Lone Hill. They have good selection and very yeah. knowledgeable. So we'll see. Now so, tried it. Way up in Marin County. Wow. Pine. Hmm. Smells like a Christmas tree. Think it'll taste like them? A little bit. It tastes like a Christmas tree. Yeah, for those of you that have tasted Christmas tree before. Okay. No, when you go to outdoor science school, they have you have a little bit of a, of pine needles because it has vitamin C in it. And if you guys are ever stuck in the woods, you can take pine needles and boil it and make your own tea. It actually tastes like there's a little bit of pine needles in here. It totally does. That's all I'm wow. getting. It just smells like a pine tree. Hmm. I don't... It's interesting. I don't think I'd want more than a... About three ounces of it. Yeah, interesting is a good way to sum it up. If you don't know what pale ale to try, try this. If you're looking for something just solid, don't try this. This is definitely out of the box, and I was not expecting that. Yeah, we shouldn't have put this number three. No, it should have been later. Should have been the out of the box. Yeah, we didn't know it was that out of the box. We won a whole bunch of awards. Our studio audience is shaking their heads. Every time you sip it, it tastes a little different. A little, yeah. Like different pops come to the front. Yeah. I'm still just nothing but pine. A lot, a lot of pine. This is Oscar Blues, Dale's Pale Ale. So, I've only had their uh, 10 Fitty, and it's delicious. Okay. My oh. nose is only working. Yeah, I was just thinking my nose is broken. I was expecting an explosion of scent and... I like the color, though. Nothing. Beautiful color. You can actually see through this. That's awesome. Hmm. Tangy up front. The hops just linger. Are you getting that bitter hoppy lingering? Like it the never bitter, goes... Yeah. The finish is long. Yeah. Finish. This is a wow. big hoppy... It takes me up. Wow. wow. That... Doesn't it just continues? Go? Yes. If you could visualize taste, it'd be like slow, like molasses dripping down. Mm -hmm. It's not aggressive. That is the longest finish I've ever tasted in a beer. Yeah. Amazing. This is cool. It just the flavor just keeps on. Keep wow. it on. Wow. Lighter in color. Lagunitas Pale Ale. New Dogtown. Yes. We've had their, one of their ales on here. Yeah. And. Wow. Even clear. I can I'm getting a little completely smell. see through this. Kind of mellow citrusy. Yeah. Kind of. Citrusy kind of. Like orange. You need to throw the oranges away a week ago kind of orange. Well, I didn't really it's, see yeah. there, but. 
Mm. The same sort of thing. Delicious. Really yeah. citrusy, really tangy. A lot of malt. A lot of malt, malt on the back end. Get a little bit of pine up front. Do you? Huh? How's your audience? Did you find the Lagunitas? Should be. This is probably the hoppiest of all the yeah. ones I've tried so far. What? There is. All right, well, get on it, guys. Hoppiest I've had. Definitely citrusy, like sweet, citrusy, and then malty. Yeah. And enough, there's still hops in the finish, but not... I'm hard. getting way more hops, not as much malt as I would hope. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's off for me. You see how people would like well, this? Well, Lagunitas, is, they're, they're just hop heads. I mean, everything is hop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Huh. I'm getting a little more bitter at the tail end than I'd like, but... Yeah. Yeah, it just feels off balance to me. Although maybe it's the Mount Tam still lingering in my palate. Yeah. That was strong. So here we have Deschutes. This is their summer seasonal twilight ale. From Bend, Oregon. Bend, Oregon. Up just around uh, the river bend. <laughs> nice, nice nose. Balanced nose. Way different than anything else. Way we different. Way, way. It's got... It's good. This Whoa. is more just like a when you I think of just a delicious beer. This is what I think about. This is a versatile. I mean, you could drink this by itself on a hot summer day around the pool. Delicious. You could do it with burgers and backyard barbecue. Almost anything. Really well balanced. Yeah. Wow. I like it. A really lot. good. Lighter in color than the rest. Well, we like their mirror pond. Yeah. This is yeah. following their solid. Line. Wow. I like it. I had this at a tasting with five other really good beers, yeah. and this one stood out. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, hard to find. You might not be able to go into your liquor store and just buy it, but you can definitely get it from the shoots. Yeah, if you live in Oregon. Get a case of it or something. Like it. Well like done, it Deschutes. Well done. All right, this is the Alpine Ale from Alpine Brewing Company in Alpine, California. Up north. Yeah, hard time picking that name. Been confirmed. To do a little map right now showing you LA to Alpine. Sweet. Sweet nose. Really sweet. Sweet taste. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It's like tart a tart. sweet tart. Oh. Really sweet. I think way too many sugars in this one. It tastes like candy, which is probably why candy is far too sweet for me these days. Mm. It's really sweet. Wow, that's all I'm getting. Multi finish. It's got a lot, a generous amount of hops, though. Yeah? Yeah, on the back end, I'm tasting hops. I'm getting malt on the back end. You are? Yeah. See, I'm getting opposite. Yeah. I'm getting malt up front, and then yeah. and then hop that bitter hops. Hmm. I'm Normally, going, it's the other way around. Yeah. Maybe my tongue's backwards. I'm now. going sweet to malt, and you're going malt to hops. I'm not even getting hops. No. I'm getting. It, I'm feeling it right now. The hops in the finish. No. Well. Especially compared to Oscar Blues. I mean, that just hoppy finish. Love that finish. Yeah. Well, this one had a real good rating. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm not sure who rated it. It's too sweet for me. I don't know. What does the studio audience think? Yay or nay? No. Not so much? No. Okay. No, no one's. Time to move on to the L Smith. All right. This is the L Smith. The X. Extra. Pale. Extra pale ale. Which means it's extra pale. It's actually lighter in color. So extra pale. Makes sense. Ooh. Ooh. Barley. Toasted, roasted. Strong nose. Oh, it's got some smoke to it. 
like a campfire thing going. Yeah. Not a lot. I mean, not nearly compared to that Alaskan porter. Smoked porter was insane. This is just nice. It tastes an ash. Really? Yeah. You had a little bit of that. And a lot of ash. Roasted barley, maybe? It roasted the crap out of this. That's good. Gosh. I like it. Whew. I'm surprised it's so roasted in flavor for how light it is. I know. Super light. Kind of like that coffee grinds. Grinds. Grinds? Or grinds? Coffee grinds. Coffee, coffee grounds. grounds. They're coffee grounds. grounds. Sorry. Grinds. That's what you get in a lemon. Of course, I didn't have the answer. My wife had a tell me what to say. First time that it's happened. Like somebody put a cigar out in this. That's what I'm tasting. Yeah, a little bit. Kind of tobacco-y. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. Good call, Bobby K. Well played to you, good sir. Definitely drinkable, complex. Yeah. I would, tobacco, roasted, not expecting this. barley. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so we are at the end of the road here with the yes. Flying Dog doggy style pale ale yes. cool. um, this is a well whatever yeah. it's, it's flying dog the bar is pretty high Yeah. not a lot of nose only 35 IBUs which is pretty low oh man it's good it's polite very polite this is the beer that Shakes your hand just the right way. Not that like dead fish hand or the guy that shakes it too hard and like rubs your hand. It's just like, oh, that was a good handshake. Okay, so a solid right. handshake. Solid. Okay. This is a solid handshake right here. <laughs> Matches your hat. <laughs> wow. I, I'm thoroughly impressed. Yeah. With this. this is everything that a pale ale Should wants be. to be. Yes. The finish isn't as good as the uh, Oscar Blues. Dale's yeah, out. but it, but it gives you enough middle. hops, but then it kind of decays. Yeah. And, and you're left with, you know, your normal taste buds instead of... It's the liquid version of a good snare drum. Yeah. <sighs> Big hit and kind of fades off. All right. Yeah. This is... Head and shoulders to me above everything. Really? Kind of above tower. everything? Yeah. Wow. I'll have to go back. I like it. It's solid. There's nothing I dislike. Fantastic pale. If you don't know what a pale ale is, flying dog, doggy style will tell you this is a pale ale. Right. This is a good. If, if you've never had a pale ale, get this one. It defines first. the style. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. Or maybe it's just because it's the ninth one we've tasted. No, 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 not at all. No, I mean, others have more, you know, like a better finish, a better nose, better attack, but this has... I can't think of anything bad anything. to say about this. No. No, it's fantastic. No. Like, this is the guy at work that, like, wins all the awards and beats you out for everything, and then you hate him, and you want to find something bad about him, but then he's, like, really nice to you, and he buys you lunch. It's and, true. And he lets you use his boat, and you're like... Well, I just can't that's the only it. reason you don't like it. You're like, okay, I guess you're just perfect. Yeah. There you go. And that's like this beer. Unless you're my sister, in which case you gag and say, <laughs> probably can't hear it, but she's gagging in the background. Somebody in our studio audience is gagging on the beer right yeah. now. It was my sister. I said who it was. Yeah. yeah. We can give a shout out. Fighting Irish. Woo! I think it's delicious. So if you don't like this, you do not like pale ales. That's fair to say. So uh, first off, Sierra Nevada, just the mainstream pale ale. If you're looking for a pale ale, this is the one to get. It's nothing to write home about, but I mean it's it's solid. If I had my choice amongst just very generic beers, Sierra Nevada go to. You're good. The Windmere Drifter, not impressed. Fell flat. Bleh. Marin Brewing Company, the Mount Tan. That was our Pine Needle. Crazy pine needles. If you love pails and you are just sick of, I don't know what to try next, this is the one to try. So Lagunitas, what do you think, Bobby K? Uneventful. 
I was expecting more from Lagunitas, but it was okay. It was good. Yeah. I liked it. I, th I thought it was solid. It was good. To shoot Twilight, that one's just oh, it's delicious. I think it's one of those if you need a pale ale, shoots Twilight is is delicious. Delicious anytime, anywhere. Well, I don't know anywhere, but it's the all around beer. You can drink it anywhere. Okay, not in the car. Right. Um, Alpine. Alpine was Al, not fine. Well, uh, it's too sweet for me. Way too sweet. A lot of malt. A lot. Of a lot of sweet. Okay. Malty. We both agree on the malts. Yeah. All right. So, Ale Smith X Extra Pale Ale. That was good. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really complex. That's one I mean, I could drink the entire tall glass of it and still be intrigued by it. Very complex. Yes. I don't even know what to say about it because I'm not. I mean, it had cigar. It had like... a little bit of ash. Really malty. Just everything. I loved it. I feel like I need to go study beers for like. A year and a half, and, and then, then we come back, and then I can say something about it. It's that over exactly. my head. Yes. So. Yeah. And finally, flying dog, the doggy style. Um, just, I mean, Unbelievable. Still holding it. Maybe the best beer ever made. I don't know about that. I thought it was delicious. Was and like, it's got a great name. Yes. The quintessential pale ale. It's just kind of out there, like not bashful at all. We're going to call it doggy style because we don't care what people think. Yeah. And yet it was polite. It was polite. For a pain chick. Okay. Yeah. okay, so we have a pick of the week. Pick it of the week. Tough. Tough. I think this one was very much haves and have nots. The haves, absolutely. Flying Dog was amazing. Ale Smith was amazing. Deschutes, Twilight, amazing. And the Oscar Blues, Dale's Pale Ale, amazing. Those four just solid. We had to go back, retaste them. But here we are, pick of the week. The Flying Dog. Flying Dog. Doggy style. Pale Ale. It's really just the quintessential pale ale. Um, the finish, not as good as the, the Oscar Blues Dale, but just, I mean, it's everything you could possibly hope for in a pale. If you're getting a thumbs down, it's because you do not like pale ales, but uh, it's, I think it's delicious. This was, what did we say? The solid handshake of beers. Yes. You should put that in quotes. Hey, so are we going to let our studio audience pick since it was such a close call? We can. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, Should we call like two of them up, maybe out of the studio audience? Yeah, if they want to. Maybe a one guy and one girl. Okay. All right. Why don't we have? Uh, let's see. Uh, who wants to come up? Anyone? All right. You? Annie, okay. come on in. Come on up. Do you have your pick? I have my pick. So uh, have a seat. Can I pick it? Go ahead and grab it. Dun, dun, dun. I picked the Drifter. Oh, so, the Drifter! So good. This is Annie out of, uh, out of South Bend. Why Why the Drifter? Um, it tasted the best. I thought the worst was um, the doggy style. Okay, so our pick of the week is her unpick of the it's week. It's my unpick of the week. And our worst one is actually her favorite. So, so I go, suppose... go with me, America. And the world. And the world. <laughs> Not just America. Yeah. So this is Matt Levesque, also known as the King of Cool. And it looks like he's picked the... Uh, Dales it is. Dales? Why Dales? Dales Pale Ale from Oscar Blues. It is fantastic. It comes in a can, which is old school. None of this fancy beer stuff. Bottles. Go with Dales. All right. All right, so there you have it. Pale Ales. A lot of good ones. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bill saying... Now, now that's a beer. beer.